I rushed this takedown. I should have gone for the overhook on the other side and done an OG. But instead I was trying to rush one specific thing in and that uppercut wasn't bad. I was trying to put the arm in between the legs there to make her put it behind her head. I mean, bring her arm up. But because of the cage, she pushed off. And then I had the option of I could pull her into my guard or stand up and give her my back. And since in the guard is one of Karmusha's best positions, I felt like standing up and giving her my back was a better one. So I chose that instead. She's trying to do a choke. I realized the choke was, you know, I can defend a choke, no hands, no problem. So I was going for the feet. I felt the cage there. I started to walk forward, but I had to keep her balanced. I couldn't fall on the ground. It was very hard to do. That's when I felt my sinuses popping. That's when my mouth guard went out and ripped my whole mouth open. And I'm trying to get this one foot and get her off to this side. And she was pulling so hard up, like, in my mouth that um, she got the top row of teeth on her arm. And then she goes for a heel hook here. And I, I do a backflip out of it and then come over into... Um, Keskatami, which is called in judo, that position. Side control in MMA. This part, she started, she was thinking so much about her arm. She was leaving her head open, so I was just unloading on her forehead. And, um, which is a hard part of the face to hit. But, you know, I, I pride myself on being very good at being able to hit hard with very little space. Well, my only thought in my mind is to get this elbow on the right side of my head. But I don't want her really to relate it now. So she's trying to, like, you know, Throw her legs over, get my head, and that was her mistake. See, so this is um, this is actually a, a a pin armbar to pin transition that we do in judo. It's called like a hurdler stretch. And then I got another grip on the arm and threw the arm over again. Lean towards the head first, and then uh, went back away. So I came toward the head and then back, to straighten it out, and she tapped out quick. Yeah, dislocated my jaw. I felt my, my sinuses popping like when my mouth guard came out and her hand went across my jaw. This one, she was just soaking my jaw. It ripped the whole inside of my mouth from like the tip of my mouth all the way to here. So all of this was ripped open. Like I probably should have got stitches, but I didn't. And um, the jaw was dislocated and my sinuses were messed up. I mean, that was the only fight that I ever got a bruise in. You know, my neck from the judo days is not in the best of conditions. Um, and uh, so that, it was in that moment that I realized that I was willing to die in order to, to win this fight. Like I was willing to be a quadriplegic to win that fight. Like it was that important to me. I didn't care if I broke my neck.